White noise metal. With that BS dude, Brian Shields. And you are going to be that? Okay. Definitely blown away by your set. Um, but uh, obviously the addition of the, uh, of the, the violin adds a lot to the, to the sound. And, you know, frankly, I've been waiting for more metal bands to be able to do that because I think it really, it, it's a logical progression. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting because uh, back before you even started the band, um, I was out there and I obviously I played bass. So uh, when you started playing, I had always wanted to play with a violin player. And then I was the violin player that was, was trying to start a metal band. And, you know, it's, it's really difficult to find people who match well, and she put him on the app on a play test, and he answered the app, and he walked into the room, and it was kind of like, well, this guy, I know, same play, and looked at each other, like, holy shit, can it be? We're actually following each other, like, all in one shot like that? It was perfect, so it was, it was really nice, and, you know, adding a violin to the sound of metal is something that a lot of people try and fail miserably on, and for us to be able to do it in a way that is skilled and, and, and thought out, it, it's... It makes it okay for us as a band to do it because we don't want to do something that's just fucking cheesy, you yeah. know? And then also... It's not a gimmick. Yeah, no, exactly right. And that's the whole thing. You don't want to be hard. Yeah. It, you hear it? You hear somebody, you know, you're trying to say, oh, I don't know, I made this band and they play with a violin. You know, you're thinking yellow card bullshit. You're thinking, you know, Dave Matthews band. You don't want to hear that kind of shit. What you want to hear is the fact that the band is named after the violin player because she's such a fucking badass. That it deserves it, you know what I mean, and that's yeah. that's real. So. so tell me about how you came from. Obviously, it takes a lot of training to be a, to be a violinist, but then to think that you're going to turn that into heavy music. How did that have come about? Well, um, I went completely in the classical world for a long time. I went to Juilliard. I got my master's in there. Um, but all that time, I've been doing a lot of different uh, alternative stuff with the violin, like just all sorts of different types of music. And I grew up with the old school battle, old school rock and roll, and all that stuff. So um, I always had a dream to start my own band. Um, and when finally the opportunity came, um, I placed that out. <laughs> Have you had music out? Oh, is there music available? Yes. Uh, we have a little EP available. Um, we're also in the process of recording a full length. Okay. Right so what's the songwriting process like, especially with the, the violin being part of it? Well, unfortunately, our, our guitarist is not here, but he is the primary songwriter. Oh, um, our guitarist, John Clark, is uh, an amazing songwriter, and um, he starts off with sort of a linear format. Um, and he's, he's got this unique ability to kind of write in one long thing, like, you know, he'll write 10, 15 minutes at a time. Um, and then I think more vertically, and I think a lot of the, the guys in the band think a little more vertically, and we, we go section by section, by section and then work out, flesh out the parts. Uh, we each come up, up with our own parts, and then we, we come together and we, you know, make suggestions and, and push and pull until we get a, a full, full thing going on. And what's the lyrical out there like? Yeah, like, I'm the last person to receive the song after it's all done. So, uh, I've kind of got the product already, and I'm going to play it on and uh, write the lyrics. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, but uh, the only thing is, like, these songs are uh, quite long. Then, yeah, and, uh, so, the lyrics themselves uh, become pretty long, and since we don't have any repetition for it, so it's, you know, it's all. The interesting thing about the, the vocals, which is, you know, is everything is kind of like a story. You know? If it's not a story, then it's actual historical events that we're seeing about it. You know? There's nothing that's like cheese. There's no like, examples. Uh, okay, so for instance, I, I don't remember what dynasty it was. Again, if I could talk about it, you would be able to tell you. Uh, uh, but uh, there's some Chinese dynasty where they had. Uh, they had these, uh, it was such famine that they were not able to feed themselves. And so, uh, the Chinese people would have babies, and because they couldn't feed themselves, and it was immoral to eat their own children, they would, tr- they would trade babies, uh, and eat each other's babies, because that was more immoral than eating your own child. That's so we have a song about that, you know what I mean? And just things like that, you know, there's, there's so much in the history that's so fucked up. 
that you could think about it and it would be more brutal than anything you could make up fantasy wise, you know what I mean? So, yeah. There's some shit that's happening in real life and you can just think about that. And it's like, yeah. and you're seeing more bands out there kind of trying to run big people like Hill and Bullets, you know, do the whole things about World War II. And, yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's nice to know that people are starting to think a little bit more when it comes to metal. You know, metal back in the day, you could think about anything you wanted to. Right. If you were going to buy a record nowadays, you could think about anything you wanted to, but the bands who are Something about something that takes a, the slightest bit of thought, yeah. you know, they're going to get slightly more attention on it. Yeah. So, what's next for you guys? Uh, we're, we're working on looking at a couple, a couple of toys. Uh, we just signed a record deal, we can't tell you with me, uh, but we're like, say that we're starting. Um, so, the record is going to put out soon. Um, a record label, uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. okay. um, we're working on several toys. Uh, Excellent. So, All right. And then finally, I do a segment of my interviews called Shit We Like, where I, where I ask the bands that I'm interviewing to recommend fans of, uh, of your band. What else is out there that they might like? Not famous bands, but maybe people who should come across. Oh, God. Asking me. Or the person with the worst taste in the band? I get called the man with the worst taste in music in the world, so I, you know. I, but, <laughs> but, but the guy who said that runs a Ted Lucy cover band, so you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. These days I listen to uh, this band from the Netherlands a lot called Ulcerate. I really like an ambient sort of death metal. I listen to it when I go to work in the morning and I teach kids, and it sort of puts me in the right mood to uh, deal with children. Yeah, I bet. What about you? Um, not from the guys, the guys that I'm listening to right now, but the guys that we actually came across and our friends and friends that we actually support and that yeah. uh, support us as well as two regions to make you know, And uh, we've been playing a bunch of things together. And, uh, I think a lot of stuff is going to happen to them pretty yeah. soon, so, yeah. And, and uh, the lady from Juilliard here, what do you give us a recommendation? Well, I agree with you, too. I mean, as far as bands like that aren't, aren't uh, super famous, uh, those bands are and uh, I'll tell you, are also there from New York. Um, people, uh, another band that I'm excited to see tonight is Between the Bay and Me. I'm a big fan of theirs, and uh, see what they have. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, interestingly enough, if, if you like our music, you probably like some classical as well. So I would recommend a little bit of, you know, pretty much like Beethoven or Mendelssohn Symphony with uh, probably the kind of drawing. Okay. You and jazz? I don't play much jazz. Kenny actually plays a lot of jazz, but um, I kind of suck at jazz. Okay. <laughs> So for me, uh, I would just say Obscura. Like, that's, that's my favorite band right now, Obscura. Uh, and if not Obscura, then a bunch of songs from Finland. Uh, both of those bands, technically amazing, amazing musicians, you know, and doing things that are not not the typical. You know, going against the social media a little bit, and you're kind of doing, doing what they want makes them feel good, which makes me feel good listening to it. So, oh, yeah. But you guys are from New York, is it? Yeah, New York City. Excellent. All right. Anything else you want to ask you about? I just want to say we've got the album coming out. Uh, it's subtitled, so home, 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 home. home. Uh, 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 yeah, we're going to be on a tour with several big bands. Look for that. It's coming. Now, when you go on the internet, hopefully, hopefully you'll see some ads. Uh, if you, you know, there's going to be a lot of, yeah, come on, sorry, come on, come on, rap. There's going to be a lot of opportunities to hear our music for free. Uh-huh. Do it. Listen. Give us the chance. You know what I mean? It's not music that is written to fucking appeal to you. It's, it's written because it sounds good. Right. And hopefully some other people will also think that it sounds good. So if you get the opportunity, we're going to have a lot of listening parties and things like that on the internet. Check it out if you get the opportunity. It's fucking free. It takes you seconds. And, and, and the best music out there is the music that requires something to know you. It makes you think a little bit. That's, that's exactly right. I'm not promising that it's going to be appealing to everybody, but the people who are going to like it are, are definitely going to love it. Now. And I hope that they will. And I hope that they'll take the opportunity to listen to it. And give us a chance. You're definitely one of the big discoveries of the day for me.